Singh is a big issue here at the G20 meeting in Gandhinagar. Countries want China and Saudi Arabia to come on board for positive discussions. The European Union has shown a lot of interest in investing in India's green hydrogen sector. We caught up with the European Investment Bank's Vice President, Chris Peters, who told us that the EIB could soon invest 500 million euros in India's renewable energy sector. First of all, I must uh, emphasize that we are a member of the Hydrogen Alliance here in India, a very important alliance where the government and the private sector is working together uh, to, to make uh, the, the ambition of your prime minister uh, a reality and to make these hubs, uh, hydrogen hubs, also a reality. Now, we are very close to discuss uh, all these, uh, these plans. Mm. So secondly, we have now uh, some uh, very important negotiations for the first phase of this one billion uh, euro um, investments. And this first phase is not uh, specifically uh, oriented to uh, hydrogen, but more uh, onshore um, windmills and also uh, solar panels. So that is also a very important element. You have not only uh, the hydrogen, but also the solar panels. Uh, also there, the ambition of your prime minister is, is uh, amazing. And also there, we want to be partner. This, uh, talking about um, uh, hydrogen and the, the private sector, this, uh, the alliance is a very uh, important um, actor to work also with us. And also there are companies coming from uh, Europe that also will invest uh, here in, in your country. When you speak about this, uh 500 million euro investment which is going to be made in the near term. Is this a government to government investment that we're talking about or will this be in a particular company? First of all, this is uh, to, to the government and uh, of course it's to the government to, uh, to uh, create the project because we are a project driven bank. We are uh, financing projects but it is of course to the government to see uh, which private companies from, it, from uh, Indian are working with uh, the government and with us, uh, and we can finance that. This, it is a very um, good cooperation, once again, between the government of uh, India, between the private sector and, uh, and as a European investment bank. And it is not we that make the projects, it is the government and the private sector that says, OK, we have this uh, project and that can be uh, an, a project in this one bil uh, billion uh, uh, financing that we uh, provide and that is working very very well when you when it comes to your global outlay uh, investment funds uh, what is the quantum of outlay that has been earmarked for India now um, saying uh, last year the bank have done 72.5 billion dollars uh, as a bank financing projects all over the world in Europe and also outside of Europe now, uh, when you look to outside of Europe, we have uh, uh, installed uh, what we call the uh, EIB uh, Global. That is a branch in the bank that is specifically oriented to uh, finance projects outside of, uh, of Europe. And there we have last year uh, more or less uh, financed $10 billion or euros. Um, and uh, once again, uh, we are very active uh, in, 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 in Africa, for example, but more and more we are oriented to, to you, to, to India, to see what we can do. We do that on our own risks because in some uh, areas like Africa we are working with the European Commission. For the moment that is not the case. We are taking the risk on our own to say we are investing in India because we believe in India. We believe that we can uh, make a difference as a European investment bank, but uh, certainly that the projects that coming from the government and the private sector in India are very good projects and that we can find is in that kind of projects because we are a climate bank and we are uh, convinced that India is going on the right way. Can you give me a percentage of your total investments coming to India? I, I've said that in total we have uh, done 4 billion euros mm -hmm. uh, until now, uh, 3 billion euros in infrastructure. This, I hope that this percentage, because this percentage is not the most important element, mm -hmm. the, 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 the most important for me is the quality of the projects and the future. And the future uh, to invest in India is increasing. We mm. are believing in India and we are investing in India. Mm. We are now uh, in the room, if I may say so, and we hope to stay in the room and to have a lot of projects that we can invest. And right. uh, in a total of uh, 10 billion euros each year, it's, it will be in, in increasing for the next years. And once again, 
I hope a lot of money went or shall go to India. So can I say that uh, investments that earlier would have gone to China are now coming to India from EIB? Uh, once again, we are a project-driven bank. Uh, when you have projects, we go there. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I hope that you have a lot of projects. And uh, there is uh, a lot of money uh, available on the, on the world capital market. And the, the question is, where is that money go? Mm -hmm. And when it goes to, to India, because you have good projects, good projects, climate, green projects, and so on, then uh, a lot is possible. On that note, we take a short break, but don't go.